Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Laura. I'm going to do the hashtag planner throwback tag today. Um, this was created by Kiara of um, In Kiara's Life, formerly Paper Princess Plans, and Amy of Two Little Bow Babies. Um, I've watched both of their videos. I will link their videos down below because I'm going to probably run out of cards um, during this video. <laughs> so I'll link their videos down below and their channels. Um, they did awesome videos and this is super fun and it was so hard to pick things. Um, I am only going to do my Erin Condren planners. If you guys have been around for a while, I had a recollections planner where I was doing quote unquote budget spreads for a long time. Um, I've had a B6TN that was all Harry Potter themed. I've had a B6 um, ring planner and then like various other things that I've tried throughout the years. But this is five years, well, four, four full years plus what we're currently on right now. So a quarter of the way in or a third of the way into 2020. Um, so I figured this was enough spreads. Like this was so overwhelming as it was. <laughs> so if I turn these planners around, you guys can see how many tags I have um, of spreads that I've marked. So this is going to be a really long video. Grab a snack, put me on pause, go grab a snack, go grab something to drink, and then come back. <laughs> My first Erin Condren weekly planner is from 2016. It says 1516, but I only had a January through December 2016 planner. I had a, an Erin Condren deluxe monthly planner before this one for part of 2015. Or, yeah, I think it was all in 2015. Um, but this is my first life planner. I had the rose gold coil. I liked it. Like, at the time, I didn't think it was that bad. But looking at it now, like, it's definitely chipped on both ends. And it's definitely, like, worn. But I loved it with this cover. Oh, my God. This cover is so gorgeous. <laughs> okay. So, I'm not necessarily, like, going in order. But this was my first planner. And then I have every year since then with the black coil every single year. So, that's how this is working. The first, um number is first planner spreads so um I have a couple different things they're not all like marked with sticky notes so because I have the deluxe monthly before this look at this you guys I had a colorful oh my god it was colorful <laughs> um this is before she had neutrals um but my first my first planner spread quote unquote, is my very first spread. Like I had stickers. Um, I had, you know, like I didn't just use pen and paper. Like I didn't have headers. Like these are printed on the planner. Um, so there's that. <laughs> um, I had some stickers from like the Erin Condren sticker book, that sort of thing. Um, so this tag up here for number three is the first foil stickers. This is literally my first spread and I have foil stickers but I'll talk about that when I get to number three. But this was my first planner spread. Um, I don't know if it really counts. I was using literally ballpoint pen and then some like random stickers. Um, but I had time to play kind of with my monthly before this started. Um, I got a little, like a little better as, as time went on. But for my first kit, that was this week. So this is still the same planner. It's still 2016. This is my birthday week. And I purposely bought a sticker kit to use. So all of these previous weeks, like a lot of this, well, okay, I guess that's, that's kind of a lie. These were like a kit. Like I bought these from a store. Um, but they didn't have like everything. Like this was a kit but it had what, like three full boxes, four full boxes. Um, so it's, it's just not the same. Um, some of this stuff, like I printed it myself, um, and then like added washi, that sort of thing. I had like sticker books that I was using, but this was like a complete planner kit. So it had full boxes. It had checklists. It had like little things. It had headers. It had hydrate stickers. Like it had all the things that we think of as a sticker kit. And I was like, I'm going to get this and I'm going to use it for my birthday because it's going to be special. And I don't like it at all. 
<laughs> I love the kit, but it was so plain because it was just black and white marble. I tried to bring in purple for some reason. I don't even really like purple. Um, but I had this washi and then I decided to write in purple. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't know you guys. I don't know. Um, so it's, I don't know. It's very bizarre to me. Um, and then I put in like these little like ballerina girls. Like, I don't, I don't know. The little ballerinas are cute, but like, I just don't even, I don't even know what I was thinking. So I ended up not liking my birthday spread basically at all, <laughs> which is a total bummer. Um, but that's that. So that was my first planner spreads. Like I said, the first, you know, as soon as I started this planner, um, and also like my first planner kit. So there's, there's that. Okay. Number two is my least favorite planner spreads. And I'm going to have to go to multiple planners for this. This is the first one. <laughs> what do I even say about it? It's so empty. I had apparently nothing going on. I don't know why. Um, yeah, I, I have no idea. Like what was I doing with my life? I don't, I don't know. The sidebar is so blank. I don't like purple and teal together. Um, I, <laughs> it's so hideous. Okay, so I think that's the only one I have in this planner. Um, this is 2016, or 2017. This spread to me is just like, it's so dull. Like the print quality of this is so dull and I just did not enjoy it. Like I really love the girl. I like the idea behind it with like the floral and the glam. Like these two pieces I really enjoy, but like it's just so many colors and it's not very elegant. Like it looks kind of circusy, even though there's like these super glam things. I don't know. I don't even remember who this is from, but not a fan. Okay, this one, I love this kit, you guys. I love the floral and the colors. It's so pretty. I hate how I did this. Um, so much. So, so, so much. And you guys will see that I tried it again and I still hated it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I don't know. It's so pretty, like the colors are just everything. But like, why did I put that big gold strip across the middle? Gross. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, this is another Glam Planner kit. That The kitty one was a Glam Planner. This one also, um, I love it, but like I love the kit, like these little like droplets and like the watercolor and the pretty colors. I hate all the purple. Um, like these dark purple things just stick out so much. I don't like the purple font, um, like the outline and the text. Like I don't like that. I hate how cluttered everything is. Um, it's just like this kit threw up all over my planner. Not a fan. Um, okay, this one is from Let's Plan It, and although it's, like, pretty, like, it was pretty enough for me to buy it, it is so boring with all of the brown. Like, the entire kit is brown. It's just boring to me. Um, I even tried to, like, bring in sparkle with the brown, like, sparkly washi tape. Oops. And all of that, but it's just, it's boring. Okay, 20... 17 I don't think I marked or sorry 2018 I don't think I marked any as like super dislikes um but I did here okay so this is 2019 um yep here's the kittens and tea again tried it again um you can see there's like more pink in the kit this time the bottom washi changed from purple to pink um but like, why did I pick these color headers? Like they're so bright, this purple and green and gold and like not soft at all. And I just don't understand what I was doing. Um, so I feel like I ruined it again. So I'm not gonna bother like trying to do this kit again. I'm, I'm over it, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> and then this one, um, this is another week that I just didn't really have a lot going on. Um, and 
it's very empty. Um, I don't know, like I like that I put the quote here, but then like I didn't have quotes for here. I didn't like the very empty boxes as full boxes in this kit. So like, I don't hate this one as much as I hate the other ones that I showed you, um, but it's kind of obnoxious. And then I used like gold and blue hollow foil and like, it's just a lot. Um, this was my newest addiction. So I love the floral, but I don't like how any of this came together. Okay. Um, number three is my first foil stickers. So again, um, my literally very first spreads in here had foiled, had foiled Erin Condren stickers on them, um, because I bought a sticker book or maybe these were in the back of the planner. I don't even know. I think I had a sticker book because I have the January spread or the January label. Um, but this was like my very first spread in a planner with like decorative planning and it has foil. But if we don't want to count that, then in here, my birthday spread, sorry for the motorcycle sounds, um, the like ballet girls that I added, those have foil on them. But again, that was like a sticker book that I purchased um, and not really like a shop making foil stickers. So then I have to go another year and it's kind of a slow build up for me. So this is my first foiled spread. I wanted a foiled kit for my birthday month and it has foil all around here and some like sparkles and stuff like that um, in hollow and I was all excited because it was my birthday month and I wanted I wanted a foiled birthday kit. So I didn't have weekly kits that were foiled, but I did get a monthly. And then I started doing things like this kit has foiled date headers from Rose Color Days and date numbers from Tassel Planner, I want to say. So like this is a slow build, like nothing else in the kit is foiled, but those are foiled. And then starting here, I have um, like these countdown stickers that are foiled, um, but like nothing else. And then the countdowns go. I have the countdowns and the date covers in foil. And then here I have like a happy Father's Day. So I must have placed a Rose Color Days order. I think she was the first foil shop I shopped from. Um, and I picked up like some small things that I slowly started adding in. Um, I also had, I think before here, yeah, I had foiled headers. Um, so before that I had a couple weeks of, um, like where I started with foiled headers. I believe this was my first plan with me video that I put on my channel, the spread here from Scribble Prince Co. I'm pretty sure I don't love it. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then this was a birthday, which again has like a foiled header in it. So it was a slow buildup um, of adding foil to my spreads. Okay, number four is your first Simply Gilded Bottom Washi, which I believe is in this planner. Oops. Um, okay. So this is not where I had Simply Gilded bottom washi, but it was the first time I noticed that I used Simply Gilded washi in my spread. So I had it here. This is like the pink with champagne gold bow. I had one other place. I also used a little bit of the washi here in the sidebar. So I was using Simply Gilded washi in February of 2017 um, but I didn't use it as bottom washi until May of that year um, this is a glam planner kit and I think I just didn't like her bottom washi because I know I would have had it um, so I took the simply gilded you can see I didn't wipe anything out <laughs> um, the mint with the hollow and then this purple confetti so I'm assuming by here I had quite a few of her washies okay number five is spreads I would do over. So we have to go back to my first planner. This is a spread from Caress Press and I was so excited to get it. 
And this was the first time I used vinyl stickers. And you guys, you could not lift vinyl off of vinyl. And stuff was so crooked. And it made me so mad and so sad. And it's like just overwhelming. And I would love to have this kit again to do it over with like how I plan now with so much white space um, and not like having all these checklists and everything. Like I love the artwork. I love the colors, but it's like, holy moly. Um, just a, it's just a lot. <laughs> it's so overwhelming to look at, but I think it's really pretty and I would love to be able to do this one again. Um, so that's the first one, my first planner. And then... I love this kit from um, Let's Plan It. It is super beautiful and I think it would be even more beautiful with a silver foil and like overlays and things like that. And again, like get rid of checklists and all of that kind of stuff. Um, but I, I think this kit was really pretty. The colors are so soft and beautiful. This kit, I kind of have the same feelings. The colors are amazing. Um, I don't remember who this kit is by, but it is so cute so 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 cute i really love it i love the color choices um but i think it would be even prettier with like a hollow foil maybe oh so gorgeous okay so that's all from this planner this spread is from my newest addiction and this is like such a gorgeous kit you guys the succulent kit um I'm pretty sure I own this so that I can do it again um and that's gonna be really exciting <laughs> it's so pretty this kit I also own um again so that I can do it over this is glam planner this was during my end of my birthday month um and I love it but it's so busy and like full that I just want to do it like in a lighter way um this kit I did do twice because I love it that much um and I think I have it marked in my other planner too this is from Lily and Miko and there's nothing wrong with how I did this I absolutely love it um but because I love it so much I just want to keep doing it over and over again <laughs> Okay, here's another one. Um, this is from Peach Palm that I would totally do again, and I have the kit again, so I can do it again. Um, super beautiful. This one from Glam Planner, totally would do it again. I own it again, so I can do it again. And then here's the second version of the Lily and Miko one that I did do over again. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Ugh. It's just so good. And then this one, um, this kit is from Glam Planner, but I also own it from Lily and Miko, which I've already done the second spread of it, and I think I have enough to do a third spread. Um, but I love, 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 love. Most of what it is is the colors and how the kit is put together. Like Glam Planner and Lily and Miko, I can't go wrong um, with their kit formats. Like I love it. Um, and then when they use these super beautiful soft colors, um, I just, ugh, it's so good. And then Scribble Prints Co. Clueless. Oh, I think, let's see. Okay, so here's the first time I did the Clueless kit. This is from 2017. And then this one here is from 2019. Um, so... Yeah, again, I have this again so I could do it a third time um, because I think it's really fun. Okay, and then I don't think I marked anything in my current planner because we're not that far into it. Okay, number six is, let me start from the beginning again. <laughs> number six is favorite artwork. So I don't have anything in my very first planner, but I'm pretty sure I do here. Maybe not, oh yeah, I do. Okay, so this is the first one. Um, this is from Planner Gems. Planner Gems, Planner Gem. Yeah, I miss her shop. I think this artwork is super beautiful, but a lot of shops did it very, very navy, and she kept it super light, and I thought it was beautiful. Um, like this door, oh, 
I love that. The soft watercolors at the bottom. So, so, so pretty. And then this kit is from Planner Society, and I love just how fun and bright and punchy it is. I think it's really, really cute. Um, really, really love that artwork. So summery. And then again, I have the Scribble Prince Co. Clueless kit marked, but we just talked about that. And then I have um, this kit from Shop Jessica Hearts. It's got watercolory floral and like wood, white wood elements. It's just, <laughs> it's so pretty. Um, yeah. Is this the second time I used this kit? I can't remember if I did this kit twice or not. I feel like I did leftovers in like maybe my B6 or something like that. This must have been the first time though, because I used a lot of full boxes. Yeah. Okay, but that, that kit is gorgeous. Um, the Lily and Nico kit, of course. And other people had this artwork. It wasn't exclusive to her shop, but um, yeah, that's what we're talking about. This favorite artwork. <laughs> I love this art. Um, this art is super pretty too, which it's funny because Kiara had this kit. Um, we bought it from the same shop. I think she did hers as a printable and I bought mine printed. I can't quite remember. Um, I might have done mine as a printable. I don't know. Um, but I love this art and Kira was like, meh, <laughs> uh, one of her like least favorite spreads, but I love these like raspberry orchid pink colors that are in here. Um, I think it's really gorgeous and just something kind of different than a lot of the things that I do. Okay. From last year's planner, Last year's planner, I have this artwork from Glam Planner, and I don't know, we have a mystery kit from Scribble Prints Co. that's kind of like, I think it's also like Italy or something, not the Paris one that she came out with, but it's a mystery kit, and I think it's similar to this, um, and I'm really excited about that too, and I don't know if it's from the same artist or not, but I love the artwork that is in this kit. Okay. And then in this year's planner, oh my gosh, this is Hello Petite Paper and this stay at, stay at home, is that what it's called? I don't know. Um, let's stay home maybe? I can't remember. But this artwork that she did is so precious. I have this again so that I can do another spread, but so cute. And then this like pregnancy baby artwork, um... I don't know who does this artwork, but this was so cute also. Um, and I have this to do another kit with as well, which this one won't be used as frequently because it's for having a baby. <laughs> um, but I thought it was just adorable. Okay. Number seven is, oops, I should be keeping them in this order. Number seven is spreads that in, um, spreads that inspired my current style. And that's kind of a tough question for me because the first four planners that I've showed you are all like, I use them as a weekly planner. Like I put my weekly checklist in here and I had to do all that. But then for this current year, I switched how I'm using it. Um, so my current year planner is for memory spreads, so I don't have checklists in there, but I can see that a little tiny bit in this planner. This was a kit from Glam Planner, and it was when my friends and I, or my friend and I were in the mountains, um, and I think I did this as like a rewind plan. Like, I don't think I planned it until after I got back, um, so it's set up the way that I've been planning now, so I have like bougie in the background, and everything is like boxes and, um, like scripts and icons and little characters and things like that and no checklist. So this was the first time I ever did that. And then this spread is similar. Um, I was on vacation at my parents' house. This is in New Year's. I don't know why I did like, well, I guess this was the same way. Um, I forgot one. This one also. Um, these two here are both like 
similar. This one I didn't use bougie, but this one I did do bougie um, in the background. And they're all like rewind plans, which is why they're more like my current style. So this was Lily and Miko and Scribble Prince Co. This was Glam Planner. And the first one I showed you was also Glam Planner. Okay. Um, number eight favorite holiday spreads. I don't think I have one in my current planner. So we'll start here. This is a Christmas spread from Glam Planner. I changed out the bottom washi. I think hers was peppermint. Um, but I love this like house bottom washi from Sadie Stickers. And I have the bougie. I have bougie in red and green. I have gold foil, red foil, green foil. Like it's just so pretty. And I love this artwork. And I guess this is on my list of things I would do again too because I have the artwork again. I, I think a lot of people took it as like, like a spread that you're like, I like the artwork but I would want to do it in a different way. And I talked about some of those also, but then I also have ones where I just really love the kit and I want to do it again. So there's that. Okay, so this is a Christmas kit. We're going to just go backwards. Um, this is a Glam Planner Halloween kit. Again, I did um, mixed metals in this spread, so I have gold and silver. And I have a lot of Halloween kits marked, which is really odd because I don't even really do anything for Halloween, like, ever. Um but apparently I just like how they come out. <laughs> so Halloween, and then what else do I have marked in here? This was, oops, um, this was my birthday. I don't know if that really counts as like a holiday, but for me it is. <laughs> um, this is a holiday because it's my birthday. This was last year. And then St. Patrick's Day. This is a Lily and Miko kit. I think this is stunning. And then this is a Lily and Miko kit for Valentine's Day last year. Again, I find this one completely, completely gorgeous. And then this I included, even though it's not a weekly spread. This is probably my favorite monthly spread I've ever done for like, quote unquote, a holiday. Um, it's this January page one of 365. And I just thought it was really pretty. So... I included it because I wanted you guys to see it. <laughs> and then I have a couple more. So going back another year, again, this was an Easter, this was Easter spread. Um, again, just so such gorgeous kit. This again was my birthday two years ago. I loved this artwork and I did this artwork this year in my petite planner. I didn't film that video, but I used leftovers from this spread. So I showed that spread. And if you guys remember what I showed you, this is where that original artwork came from. And then let's see this Christmas spread. Whew. I shouldn't have put the stickies on the premium matte stickers. Don't recommend. <laughs> um, this is from my newest addiction and it is stunning. And again, I have this so I can do this kit again as well. Um, but I had so much gold foil and red foil and twinkly and mm, it's just so pretty. So, so, so pretty. Okay. Um, Going back another year, so we're now in 2017. This is my favorite 4th of July spread I think I've ever done. It's just like a matte kit, and I think this kit cost me like 10 bucks or like 6 bucks or something crazy cheap. Um, but I love it. I think it's so cute. I love the twinkle lights. I love the double box so, so, so much. There's twinkle lights here. You've got like the red and blue like wood background. It's just so pretty and I covered a lot of it because the boxes were kind of plain. Like the whole box is just this blue with stars or red with twinkle or whatever. But it's so cute. You got the girl with the stars on her sunglasses. I don't know. I just loved it. <laughs> um, okay, this was a Halloween kit or like fall kind of kit um, that I thought was really cute with all the pumpkins. This whole like month of Halloween in this planner is so good. Um, this is a Lily and Miko kit with like the witch's brew and I just fell in love with this artwork. And then this one, oh, I should not have put this on here. This one is Lexi Kylie Designs. 
and it's so beautiful. I also did my monthly in her kit, the Lexi Kylie Designs monthly kit, um, because this is such gorgeous artwork. So I did the monthly and then I also did the weekly, which is actually the week of Halloween. Love. I loved this spread. <laughs> the artwork was amazing. And then this Christmas kit. Um, I would totally redo this one again too. Like there are so many things I don't love about this kit, but the full boxes are everything. This street shopping scene at Christmas is stunning. It is so pretty with like the snow falling, these like bulb lights with the wreaths on them, the little shops. You can actually like see the warm glow of the lights like on the wet road and it's just everything. Like I don't love the spread but I love the full boxes in this kit. So there's that. Okay. So those are my favorite holiday spreads. Number nine is things that were least expected to be my favorites. Um, let's see what I marked. So this one is Glam Planner. And it was just unexpected because it's so dark. And I hate like really yellow gold. But for some reason this works. Um, so I don't know. I did change out the washi um, because I used this here. Um, on my April like monthly note page. Um, so I used the bottom washi on this page. But that's how much I loved it. Like I made this spread too. I don't know. It's really pretty. But unexpected. This one is also Glam Planner. That was unexpected for me. I was never really like into this kit. I thought it was kind of gross. I didn't like the really muted colors. But when I did the spread I thought it was really pretty. And my mom traveled here this week um, that I have marked here. So it worked because there was like little airplanes and stuff. Okay, this kit was also Glam Planner. Um, <laughs> this is like a camping kind of kit. Just didn't know if I was going to have any use for it, I guess. But we took our students to up to Estes Park um, for like a uh, camping-ish trip. We were in cabins. Um and this kid is so springy. We got three feet of snow that day. And I think like in total, we probably had like four or five feet of snow while we were on this trip. Like we didn't think we were going to come home. Like it was insane. Um, but we did get out of there. We did get home. <laughs> and it was funny. But I loved this like little camping kit for that. And then... I think that's it for this planner. I think I have a few more. What number are we on? Number nine. Oh yeah, this spread. This was from, is this Virgo? It's either Virgo and Paper or Jackson Pepper. I can't remember which. <laughs> I think it's Virgo and Paper. Um, but it's just very, very neutral. Um, and like this warm tan color and it wasn't really like completely my style and I don't like what I did with the bottom washi necessarily but um, it had elements of my style with the floral and like the black and stuff like that but it just wasn't my style overall but I decided to give it a try and I really love how this spread came out and then I think I have one from yeah from this current year oops did I miss I missed a holiday one. Oh, my birthday this year. Yeah, I love this one. So pretty. Okay, so my other unexpected... Oh, right, this is Scribble Prince Co. Um, I kind of bought this mini kit on a whim and was just kind of like, yeah, it's pretty, but I did not expect it to be as gorgeous as it came out. Um, I think, like, this is perfection. Like, I'm... I, I don't even know. I'm like a thousand percent happy. My pen was running out though. I should like go over that with a darker pen to match like this other ink. Um, but other than that, like I think this spread is perfection. <laughs> um, so yeah, there was that one. Okay, number 10 is overall favorites, which is going to be a repeat of some of the ones you guys have seen already. Um, but some new ones also. And I have so many, so I'm going to try to go fast. Okay, <laughs> this is in my very first planner. So 2016, is that we decided? 2016. 
You guys, I don't know what it is. I love the mint and the pink together so much. Like, that's really what it is. And these, like, country chic, what is it called? Chic, I don't, what's the word? Chic, country chic, I don't know. Um, shabby chic, that's the right thing. Shabby chic, like, that's what I was going for, was, like, the shabby chic with the roses, because I had gotten this washi. Um, and it's just it just makes me smile. Like, it's so ridiculous, but it makes me smile. But this kit is like, what? <laughs> um, okay. This kit from Planner Society, I think is gorgeous. I love how it came out. I wrote with like a super bold Sharpie and I like how the black, it goes with the black of the other stickers. I love how I layered things. It was really fun. This kit, again, the colors, the mint and the pink. That's all I really love about it. I love this, like, um, like the little shabby chic floral and then the floral inside of the love. It's the same kind of vibe as the one from my previous planner. Um, this was pretty on Paper Co., I think. Or I think it was pretty on Paper Co. It might have been Creating & Co. I can't remember. Okay, um, this one, again, from Planner Gems. We've already been here. This one is from Creating & Co. I love the pink with the green and the tropical, plus the black and the white. Always, always. Um, this one from Glam Planner. Heck yes, I have this artwork to do again, too. And I did so much pink foil with this kit, pink and silver foil. It's just so fun. Um, but I will say, can you see, like, the ink difference? Like one of my markers or pens like has not stood up there's been a lot of that like when I look back at these old planners like a lot of it does not stand up to the test of time I think because it's not like um archival quality or whatever so a lot of things have turned yellow which is sad this is so fun though like this kit is so fun okay in here so we're on 2018 oh my gosh I love this glam planner kit again I think I've done this two or three times and I think I have it to do it again I just love it I love this kit pink and blue can you guys see a theme <laughs> this is also glam planner again I can do this one again I think I did this two or three times already um this artwork is just so good I love it this is two little bees, I think. Gorgeous, gorgeous artwork here. I love this so much. Um, this is also two little bees. Again, stunning. We've got the pink and the mint. Oh my gosh. Okay, and we have the Lily and Miko, which I've shown you guys a few times already obviously. <laughs> um, we have the peach palm artwork again. Just so good. So, so, so good. The glam planner artwork again. This one. <laughs> I marked these for multiple things. That's why you're seeing the same things again. The like Marie Kondo and then the Clueless. Love, love, love. And I don't think I have a number 10 in my current planner. So the last thing is um, spreads with memories that make you smile. Smile, And I didn't spend a lot of time on this because I knew this video was going to be already really long by this point. So I'll just show you a couple. So this is 2017. Um, and I was home for these three weeks, meaning I was back home at my parents' house in Wisconsin. And I did so many fun things this year when I was home. Um, and they're all like the cutest, most perfect kits. So I have this lovely nautical kit. And like I said, I was home, so I was reading on the patio. We were going on boat rides, um, hanging out with my parents. I got to see one of my best friends. Like, it was just so good. We had thunderstorms, which I love. <laughs> and then this kit makes me think of Wisconsin so much because it has all the little fireflies in it. And it's really cool. So this was... Um, like reading on the patio, going to farmer's markets. Like, I don't know. We went to, um, 
I went and saw like with my aunt and my mom, we went to a lavender festival. I saw my friend Missy, like it was so good. I saw my great aunt Marilyn, um, just like everybody that I wanted to see in one trip, I got to see. And then this was the last week that I was home. I got to see my niece and my brother. And then like, I came home and my boyfriend picked me up from the airport and like all the things, like all the things. So it was just another little nautical kit. So cute. Um, so that was like a good solid three weeks with like amazing memories from being at my parents' house. And then I have this one, which was my birthday week last year, which is when I accepted the job that I am currently at now, um, which was the biggest <laughs> sigh of relief I could even tell you. Like, so, so, so good. So, yeah. Okay, so that is it for this planner throwback tag. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these five old planners of Erin Condren. Again, it would be much longer if I did my recollections and my B6 TN and my B6 rings and all of those other planners that I've done, but that would be way too much to go through. I mean, look at how many sticky notes I used just for just for this video. <laughs> We're already at like 45 minutes of footage. So I, I figured I knew it was going to be enough, like just to do these five. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And, um, I, I, I don't know. It was really fun. Um, I have, like I said, from the one spread in April of 2017, I have pretty much, I think every video on my channel, if you just hit the plan with me playlist, you could literally watch basically every spread. There are very, very, very few that I had didn't film um, from these four planners. Nothing in this first planner is filmed because I didn't have a channel at that time. Um, but pretty much everything else is filmed. So, or flip throughs. You can search my channel for flip throughs also, and you can see flip throughs of these four planners. So that is it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, like I said, and if you do this on Instagram or if you have a channel and you do this, tag me so that I can come watch it or leave a link down below. Um, and I will leave all of the prompts down below also. So if you want to do it, um, then yeah. Do it, please, please do it. I think it's really, really fun, and it was super fun to go back through these four plan or these five planners, even though it took me like hours. We're in, you know, this weird time, and I have the time, so it was fun. <laughs> All right, I will catch you guys in the next video. Hit that subscribe button on your way out if you haven't already, and I will talk to you later. Bye.